Maya Farm is a biotechnology company with a global presence and team located and headquartered in Sydney, Australia. Over the past 100 years, no drugs have been developed that address type 2 diabetes as a progressive inflammation disorder. And that's why Maya Farm have brought together world leading experts. In type 2 diabetes, it's very unusual that one drug alone will work because the condition is multifactorial in its origin with problems at the beta cell level and also in terms of insulin resistance. And we also have other comorbidities such as elevated blood pressure. So the best way to treat this condition is a combination of drugs, either as individual drugs, but even better is if they're in a fixed combination. Some of the benefits of drug repurposing are that the drugs are already FDA approved, they're already manufactured, they're already available on your pharmacy shelf. So that's, that's a huge amount of work that goes into getting a drug that far. The second is that the work to be done to match that drug to a new disease oftentimes is quite straightforward, especially with the advent of the technologies that now exist, utilizing artificial intelligence on the world's biomedical knowledge. And third, once we discover that a drug can be useful in a new way, that drug is already, in many cases, generic, widely accessible, and sometimes quite inexpensive. In fact, 80% of drugs are already generic. So that means that that drug that you just discovered will be low cost to the system, low cost to the patient, and can be utilized in patients all around the world. One of the key understated facts of repurposing drugs is the long safety record. That's the preclinical data all the way through to hundreds of millions of patients being treated on the post-launch longitudinal data. Triglets is potentially a game changer for those who have experienced treatment failures. Treatment failures are vast. Anywhere up to 50% of people fail treatment within the first 12 to 24 months as a type 2 diabetic. Our early research indicates that the anti-inflammatory effect could redefine this product, Triglitza, as a first-line therapy or be given as an adjunct therapy. Where the anti-inflammatory effects of Triglitza can uh, affect diabetes, complications and, uh, um, and the associated conditions. Triglyceride forms right in the middle of it because inflammation affects resistance, res inflammation affects the beta cell, and all the other stuff, genes, environment, progress uh, to the, the whole syndrome. Triglyceride affects six of the 11 mechanisms of hyperglycemia. Liver muscle adipose tissue, uh, insulin resistance, the gut causes uh, metformin affects absorption of sugar, and obviously most important, uh, the beta cell. It seems clear that residual inflammation uh, is an ongoing disease burden independent of glycemic control. Uh, the evidence for that is quite clear. Beta cells continue to appear to suffer in patients with type 2 diabetes. And this is the idea behind the combination of both COX-2 inhibitor and also an inhibitor of the renin angiotensin system, which is the concept uh, that we're talking about with uh, innovations such as uh, Triglitza. Type 2 diabetes is a disease of insulin resistance, but you wouldn't get the diabetes unless your beta cell is not working. If you were just insulin resistant, your beta cell can overcome the resistance and put out enough insulin. So eventually the beta cells poop out. In fact, when someone first gets type 2 diabetes, they've lost a good percentage of their beta cells working. So the drugs we tend to use uh, would be GLP-1s and SGLT-2s because those drugs have other benefits, either kidney benefits or heart benefits, and they don't cause hypoglycemia and they facilitate weight loss. But despite those drugs, over time, the beta cells may continue to burn out from the basic disease state, and therefore uh, something more has to be done to secrete insulin. Type 2 diabetes is a global problem. In the U.S., there's 30 million patients with type 2 diabetes. Most know they have it, but there are a lot of people who don't know they have it. And then there's another 30 or 40 million patients, likely due to obesity, as well as genetics, that will get type 2 diabetes in the future. These are pre-diabetics. 
So unfortunately, those of us taking care of patients with diabetes will never be unemployed because there'll be plenty of more patients coming in the world with type 2 diabetes, not only in the US, but it's a worldwide problem. The future for my farm is bright. We have a US approved IND with 68 metabolic claims for insulin related diseases. Due to the high amount of treatment failures endocrinologists and general practitioners are experiencing, we believe that triglyceride has the potential to be a game changer in this large unmet clinical need.